Good morning. Well, guess who's back? Not me. This is back. <sighs> I can feel it yesterday. I now am convinced that I am some type of weatherman or, you know, someone that can, uh, not a fortune teller, but someone that can guess the, what's going to happen, you know, the next day or the day after. But uh, yesterday I started to feel like this pressure on my eye, on my right eye. And sure enough, I said, the weather is going to be so crappy tomorrow or, you know, it's coming. I can feel it. And this morning I woke up and let me tell you, it has been so nice the past few days. But today I woke up, I opened my curtains and what do I see? Snow, snow, lots of snow. And why it's April tomorrow, maybe it's April Fool's. Maybe the earth is trying to play a game with us or something. I don't know. But um, I'm trying to like film this on my phone because my camera broke. Um, yeah, I, th I said to myself, oh my God, I've been evading this thing for the past year. So last year, I did not cut arthritis, which was absolutely amazing. And I know a lot of you asked me, I'm gonna switch because over there it looks like super bright. Um, I've been in a, in a plant freeze. Not freeze, a frenzy, or what do you call it? I mean like freaking, oh, planting and because I adore plants. Uh, I started getting into them like about eight, one, eight months ago. But let's talk about this thing. So I know a lot of you ask me, well, hey, you know, like, what do you do with, I'm trying to hold my phone up here. Uh, what do you do with iritis? You know, have you been able to cure it um, or get rid of it or anything like that? No, I have not. And I don't think it's possible. Um, the only thing, and I mean, let me tell you, I have had this for 25 plus years, um, maybe 30, <laughs> I don't know. It's been so long that, you know, you lose count on when you get it or when you first start experiencing this. But um, the only thing that had worked by far is steroids, drops of steroids, that's it. Um, no ointments, no little washing your eye. Oh my God, I can, oh, it's getting like, I try to like, you know, when it first start, immediately I start drinking. I'm going to make some ginger tea and then I take some turmeric because you know, like ginger helps with inflammation in your body. So it kind of like ease. And I think that had helped so much. Uh, because I have tried to incorporate over the years and I do feel that I have gotten it less and less and less, not cured again, but the flares last year, none, zero. And normally around this time when the weather changes, you know, from like, you know, uh, the winter and then summer and then like now, right? I mean, last week it was like about 65 degrees. And all this week, today's Thursday, uh, all this week has been in close to the 50s, like beautiful. And now it's freaking crappy outside. So I think, you know, it has a lot to do for me. I don't know like what your experiences are uh, or what type of climate or what causes uh, your flares. Uh, that's something that, you know, you have to kind of like identify what exactly does that because it can be so many things, right? This is a stress that your eye is going through, right? So for me, it's pressure, you know, like the variation of pressure and the temperature, you know, causes stress in the eye that causes a flare, right? So, and, uh, and, and like, again, you know, this inflammation, I believe 
that ginger and taking, I, I've been taking like a vitamin supplement, uh, um, elderberry, 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 uh, something like that. I, you know, it's just, I take a gummy because it's like, oh, these stupid pills, you know. So I've been taking like daily uh, uh, my multivitamin uh, and obviously this elderberry. And I do see, I mean, like this is like nothing. Normally, years ago, I would be like <laughs> full on vampire. You know, I could not, I mean, my curtains will be completely dark because it will, it, it's very painful. And you know, if you have, if you have this, um, but ginger, gin, I mean, I do ginger water. I do tea, like in the morning, every day, you know, I love my, um, my, uh, green tea or like a dark tea or anything. I stopped drinking coffee many years ago. I mean, I do drink it once in a great while, but uh, ginger, I do ginger water in basically everything. I put ginger in my food almost all the time. Like the powder, I mean, you start acquiring the taste that is, oh my God, it's so delicious, you know, like the, the kick that you get out of the ginger. And of course, like how much you're gonna put, you're not gonna, you know, bite on the freaking root. I have never done that, but I do ginger shots um, in the winter. Like that's a daily thing, you know, during the winter because I, maybe that helps not getting like, um, you know, like the flu or anything like that. I, you know, almost never, rarely, I'm not gonna say never, but very, very rarely I get flu, like almost never. Um, but I do get it once in a while. And those ginger shots are absolutely amazing. If you don't want to make them, I know like a lot of health stores, you know, you can buy the little jars, you know, you can just do the, but that's, it's expensive. They're like $2.50, uh, unless you find them in like on sale or stuff like that. Like when I do, like I, when I see them like a dollar, I buy like, a crap load, you know, cause I mean, it would be like, I'll buy 30 bucks. So that's like, you know, 30 some plus dollars and I'll have one each day on the month, you know, and you're done. You don't have to like be mixing or be juicing. Um, I use a cold press juicer to do all my ginger shots. Um, and they're very basic, nothing complicated. So it's just ginger, lemon, and I put sometimes, um, either a little piece of apple or um, uh, what you call it, celery. Um, and I mean, I don't try to make it so complicated. You know, I know a lot of people like, oh, you put like pineapple and then you put, that's only when I buy the little things in the store. I'm not gonna, I don't have, I don't have time. So ginger shots does help a lot with inflammation. And look at, I mean, I can feel like less a little bit because I took, like two ginger shots this morning and a tea. And then I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna make my um, uh, black tea right now or green tea. I don't know, not green tea. I feel like a black tea this morning. But, oh my God, it's almost 10 minutes in this damn video. But please, I know that um, so many of you have had questions, you know, and I try to answer, um, and some of you have asked, you know, like how you been doing, you know, where your eye red is, uh, is it getting better? Do you completely eliminate it? No, unfortunately, I don't think you can. Um, if you can do, please tell me because I want to know. Uh, it is very difficult at times. At times, when I say at times is when you have it, it's very difficult because you kind of feel secluded in your house. And don't get me wrong, I love to be in my house. Like now, you know, I've, like this pandemic thing, shit, crap, it's just amazing for me because I am, I love to be in my house, you know? And now, like, like I said, six months ago, I got this craziness of plans and uh, let me see, can I switch the camera? I don't think I can, damn it. So look at, I've been like collecting plants like crazy. New tree, 
plans. More plans. That one needs getting repotted. I was going to do that today, but it would be a shock to the plant if I get it outside and um, plant it, right? Um, like, look, I have a pot right there that is going to go on a plant. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And yesterday, I was doing some planting or repotting. I mean, not planting. I just got this baby. Oh my God, she is so gorgeous. Uh, that one is getting repotted. And I have more plants over there. Um, big box because I bought a, this chair that it was driving me crazy yesterday. Oh, and I have this one still here. Yeah, but um, elderberry, elderberry, hold on, let me see. What do you call it? Yeah, elderberry. See, like this, they're gummies. They're like, oh, immune gummy. But I think it's the sink that helps or has been helping. So, yeah, have an amazing day, guys. And I hope if you do have this horrible thing in your eyes, I'm wishing you the best, lots of love, and hopefully you heal, you know, gradually. Um, don't try to, I know I did it at the beginning when I first discovered that I had this and I had to take um, stereo shots, steroid shots, um, that I'll be like, oh, like pouring like those then, um, I was gonna show you what. Uh oh, where are where are my drops? Uh, probably they're upstairs. I thought I had the drops here, but um, because only two. Well, there's a there's a drop there's a brand here in the U.S. that is expensive. <laughs> like screw that shit, right? Because you have to pay for the ophthalmologist you know the specialist and then your consultation and your drops and your medication and all that crap and being self-employed it's a little bit crazy and difficult but uh, <laughs> i tell my family from mexico i'm like please when you come and visit bring me some uh drops and they're so much, much, much cheaper uh, there. When I go there, it's like, I please give me four, five and a half for the year. I don't use it much, but I wanna be prepared, right? I don't wanna be waiting for the specialist to, I, I already know that that's the only thing that helps me. So yeah. Anyway, this video is getting so long. I'm gonna try to make a little bit more videos. Um, yeah, have an amazing day and I love you. Ciao.